It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we're going to beer from Hitachino Nest and it's this Sweet Stout or Lacto Sweet Stout coming in at 4% ABV. There's the bottle cap. Nice owl there, red owl. The beer is from Japan. And I quite like this brewery. I've had a few of their beers. All pretty decent stuff. Wow. And they certainly put their caps on properly. So, oh wow, really sweet, straight away. I'm expecting a stout. That's exactly what I'm getting. A nice jet black stout. No light getting in there whatsoever. Loads of, can you hear that carbonation? Loads of fizzy carbonation. The head's dissipating quite quickly. It was a two finger head. And within me finishing this sentence is down to a one finger head. Nice carbonation rising up the side of the glass. Look at that. Quite a lively beer. Let's get the aroma. That smells really nice. Um, how can I explain? If there was a stout that you would want to drink in the day, this would be it. I like to drink stouts generally in the evening, but if I wanted something by day, it would generally be something a little bit more refreshing. And this smells refreshing. It smells... It smells light. It smells, of course, hoppy. And it smells roasted and chocolatey and coffee. But there's an element of sweetness in the back end on the uh, on the aroma. But I have a feeling this is going to be a refreshing thin stout. It's not going to be a big thick gloopy one. Let's dive in. Cheers. And. If I'm honest, it's not as thin as I th as I first thought it was going to be by by the four percent ABV. There's not going to be a lot of malt in it, or well, there is going to be a lot of malt, but it's going to be enough to get it to four percent ABV. It's very lactosey, so it gives a nice sweet, milky creaminess to the beer. So I'm actually quite impressed with this beer to be honest at 4% ABV it's 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 definitely a crafted ale it's a craft beer sometimes you wonder um, being a 4% stout just how thin it's going to be in the mouthfeel but none of that at all none of that at all a nice rich creaminess but still refreshing British hops, or British style hops, probably grown in Japan. It's slightly spicy. It's very deep and plummy and figgy. A little raisiny. It's vinous. It's got a nice red wine quality to the beer. But I've not drunk a 4% stout that tastes this good ever, ever. This is absolutely wonderful stuff. I'm not dancing around the kitchen doing a stone the crows. I'm just asking myself why, because it, it is a very, very good beer. Let's give you the description. This sweet stout is a real black beer brewed with lots of roasted malt. Please enjoy the bitterness, roasted flavour and slight sweetness. And it's all of these things. It's balanced in, in a number of departments. It's balanced in the amount of roasted malt that's used. It's, it's, it's chocolatey, coffee, caramel. And then you've got that nice sweet lactose. And then to finish, yeah, it's nice and resiny. Resiny, sorry, raisiny. And, and it's just got a lovely, lovely mouthfeel to the beer. 
rich, creamy, thick mouthfeel. Cappuccino Nest Lacto Sweet Stout has really, really impressed me. That is something which I would quite happily have in my cupboard all year round to, to drink. Uh, that is the most impressive stout in the in the four percent range that I have drunk in a very long time. If that went up against the big stouts of the world, you know the big stout beginning with G, it would knock the pants off it to be honest. If it was in a in a blind taste test or a judging competition, that would beat the pants off it, that sweet stout. Well done, Hatchetino Nest. I'm going to give this a very high 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.